on the local station. The morning show starts now. I want you to hear these very direct and explicit threats. These are quotes. Trump or war today, that simple. If you don't know how to shoot, you need to learn. Capital letters now. That's what we're hearing from those threatening more violence. And now as the dust settles and the country struggles to make sense of the violence that left five, perhaps six dead, experts warn that the calls for violence are intensifying before inauguration day. And the expectations are the violence will get worse before it gets better. Michael Haggard's a security expert who joins us here on The Morning Show. Good morning. Good morning. We know about the dangers and threats for federal and state facilities, but fact of the matter is any business perceived as being anti-Trump is a potential target. So what signs indicate that trouble may be on the horizon for somebody? Well, I think if you look, the temperature has never been higher uh, for domestic terrorism in our country. So it's natural that this is going to flow from uh, the anger of the government to these corporations that have stood up to uh, this, this rhetoric that's going on, this violence. So when you look at Marriott and Hilton, who has stepped up and said, we're not going to give to these causes anymore, that they obviously need to be ready for this to spill over to them. And any of these corporations, the PGA, taking the stance that they took. So now golf tournaments, will they be a target to really this growing uh, anti-government but anti-social media uh, movement that's going on? And you don't have to even be anti-Trump because it's a either you're with us or you're against us attitude in many cases. So what should business owners do and do now? Where do you start in developing a plan to protect your business, your employees, and your customers? Well, the first thing is communication with law enforcement. We can't expect every local Walmart or every Amazon in a, in a shopping center to be uh, monitoring uh, chatter on the Internet. You, you have to have communication with law enforcement. What's going on? What's going on in our community? What do I need to do? Um, and need to be ready when you start seeing groups of people that, that look like the folks kind of that were at the Capitol, that, that just are angry, that are, you know, inciting this anger. You need to be ready and have communication with law enforcement because not every business can be able to have a small SEAL team at their business to protect them. So you need to know what's going on in your community, in your area, really minute to minute. So you're talking about being proactive. So let's talk now about being reactive. First sign of trouble, how do you best proceed? Well, that's where the communication with law enforcement comes. Have a plan, you know, have with the sheriff's office, have a plan where if something happens, can I communicate with you? What's your dispatch time? What do I need to do? If you're a bigger entity, you need to really hire manned security personnel in the short term, for sure. If you're near a government building, if you're near a big event, that's occurring. Have your own security force ready. But again, communication with law enforcement, because that's ultimately who you're going to need. If anything, you know, close to the Capitol rises, you can't handle it with a local security guard. You have to have law enforcement at the ready. And we're hearing that some of this may have happened internally at the Capitol. So that leads us to the fact is that some of this trouble can begin internally. Talking politics can be toxic in the work environment. How do you deal with that? Well, you know, it's, it's interesting, you know, as, as workplaces, we've dealt with COVID now for almost a year. We changed everything we do. So employees are used to that. So change the, the talk at your office. We don't need to talk politics. We need to talk whatever our business is, whatever our goals are. But be, have your ears open. When you have a disgruntled employee, when you have someone who's talking about taking over the government or how angry they are, you need to really keep an eye on them, especially folks that maybe you fire. So, so really try to bring down the temperature at your workplace, but also keep your ears open for this so you're aware and talk to a workplace uh, violence expert who can help you in putting in those internal controls. And look, Michael, there are a lot of people who will say, oh, that's just John. He, he, he's all talk. He, he talks smack all the time. With what happened on Capitol Hill and with the tension right now, can we afford to be that cavalier? Yeah, absolutely not. Absolutely not. And it's, you know, it's, I, I bring it back to COVID. You know, if somebody says, I just had the sniffles, I always had the sniffles. Well, not in today's age. You got to stay home. Same thing here. You, you've got to, you got to almost assume that John may do something. It doesn't mean you fire him. It doesn't mean that you're discriminating against him in any way. You just try to control it, keep your ears open for it, and react to it because we are at a really, really uh, dangerous place right now. And hopefully it'll quell down, but right now we're at the apex. I don't want to be cliche, but if you see something, say something. Michael Haggard, thank you.